Hey, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you, Luis? Fine. Everything okay, teacher. Yeah? Did you have yeah. a nice weekend? Yeah, it's, it was a great weekend. Really? Yeah. What happened? What Did you go somewhere? <laughs> Yesterday I visited uh, to uh, Volcano Zone, right? Did you know rock, that wrong? The volcano? Rock, rock zone, uh-huh. Volcano. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a um what, what is that the name? It's a, a, a restaurant. I visited a rest to restaurant the name uh dos alas, right? Dos alas. Yeah. Okay. I don't know the I, I, I never been to this restaurant. Is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's it's good. It's a good okay. The food is 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 good that it, it's delicious that the food. I like it. Uh -huh. And what did you eat? Who did you go with? Oh, uh, the, I I ate the normal for a, a breakfast, a, a normal breakfast. Tamales. No, it's my my principal diet is uh, being egg, <laughs> cream. <laughs> uh, what more? It's the normal, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, coffee. yeah, 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 uh -huh. and the cigarette. Yeah, no, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's prohibited that song, Mark. And coffee? Mm -hmm. Coffee. A cup of coffee? Yeah, of course, a cup of coffee. A black cup of coffee. Uh, I was going to ask how you like your coffee. No, no sugar, no cream, only black. Black, right? And the sometimes is black for me. Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like black coffee. I, I I always need a little bit of sugar. I need to put some um okay. I don't know, always sugar or splendor or something, but okay. Oh pan de dulce, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> with, yeah, yeah. With the right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Susty to that. Mm -hmm. But okay, not, not black. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, in my case, I like it, the black coffee. Okay. Uh -huh. I think it's it's very strong, so yeah. Yeah. Me too, it, I it like it black coffee. You like oh, black coffee, sure. Roxana? Yeah, I, for me it's healthy if you don't add some uh, sugar or meal. Yes. It's better in black. Yeah, 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 black it's coffee. true. Yeah. This is the more really yes. If if the sugar is the part that's unhealthy, not the coffee, like the tea, right? The tea is not unhealthy. the The problem is when you add the sugar and all of the other ingredients. Mm -hmm. sure. And what about you, Roxana? What did you do this weekend? Well, um, it was a, a typical weekend um, on Saturday. I work in the morning and in the afternoon I stay at home and Sunday I went to the church. Only that. And after church, do you go out for lunch or for breakfast? I don't No, I I ate my breakfast here in my house. Mm -hmm. I don't like to eat outside to my house. I prefer to uh, to have my breakfast in my house. Okay, okay. When I was young, we used to have the tradition that we would go to church, but the good thing is that after church, always, always, we would go to a restaurant for, or, you know, like El Mercadito or something like this to, to eat something. And I always- Long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the idea is, that is the is the motivation to go to church. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. I I didn't like I I I am going to be honest. I didn't like to go to church, but I like the food. So. <laughs> in, in that in that moment, the most important. Hey, after the church. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That was right. important. Okay, okay. <laughs> go ahead. The, the priest is talking, hey, God, and how, and be good. And I think, mm, maybe some pancakes and strawberries. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad. It's bad, but you know, it's, but, it's the reality is that I only uh, I, yes, I, yes, I, I'm thinking, real. I'm thinking, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But it's better than the spiritual meal, Jesus said. <laughs> yes, so. yes, yes. Of course. <laughs> Only the, when, when you are young, when you are a teenager, you look for the yeah. food, you look for the other, and then later, uh huh? Yes, it's okay. normal, I think. Yeah, you don't yeah. know about Jesus. It's it's the pain that your family or was when you was born. Uh huh. Or, it, mm -hmm. or when you learned with your family i don't know yeah exactly exactly it all depends but you learn i think when you are older i think for all of us when we are older we think ah, this was this is good information if i was younger and i learned this information or things like that yeah it is true Ooh, yes that happened yeah 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 i i know many times where i say ah so many mistakes when i was young especially with money when I think yes. when I was younger, I think, oh, how stupid to to spend money in this <laughs> stupid thing or this stupid. And yeah. now with the family, I think, I know oh, I have to buy this and this and this is different, different. The ideas. Mm -hmm. Yes. True. Yes. Well, guys, I'm so happy that you are here and that we are ready to begin. We have a couple of things. First, we're going to wrap up the reading, the second part of the evaluation, and then to get, begin with our listening. Um, here, let me share my screen with you to make sure that we are correct and okay. Right now with our partners, we have the reading practice test two. two. This one is reading practice test two. So you need to go to your course. It's mm -hmm. in the section for reading. And it's the one, for example, if you remember the last one, we looked at the four types of questions. Uh, we looked at insert questions, simple simplification, the reference. After the four, if you click next, then you're going to find the idea for this reading. This is only a, it's not a long reading, but it is one that's important for us to remember uh, everything from last week. So in this moment, we're going to do this one where we have several questions. As you can see, we have about 10 questions. We want to read, answer with our partners, remember the different techniques, and then we begin with our listening. Before yeah, we how, begin, many, how, yeah. how many times we have to read that part? You so, will have so wake. <laughs> yes. Hey, I, <laughs> thank no, you. Not two, no, two, two weeks, please. Not two weeks, but thank you. Thank you for the idea. <laughs> not two weeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. You will have 25 minutes to complete the 10 questions because okay. you should not, even with the reading, you should not be taking more than two minutes to three minutes per question. You should be able to read, analyze, select. Read, analyze, select. So you have all of the activity, 25 minutes. Okay. So the 10 questions, it has to be completed today because remember, you can have more time, but the reality is in the exam, you're, if you have more time here, you lose more time in the other activity. And this is not the idea. The idea is to get as many questions correctly as possible. Yeah. This is the yes. objective for, to try to get as many, many correct questions and points. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do it.
Hello, Kalena. I'm going to put you into the group. We are doing the reading test part two. Let me share the screen so that you can see. Is this part, reading practice test two, is in the reading section and then is reading practice test two. Okay, teacher, gracias. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Kalen.
Okay, guys. Was everybody ready? Everybody was able to finish? Yes, with Mr. Miguel Franco and Marvin Calix, the master of the universe reading. Yes. Hey. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look then. Let's make sure that all our answers are correct. We are only going to check the answers, not read. That way we can go to the next exercise. Number one, what did you select? What, what was for you number one? Letter B. Letter B. B. Yes. Okay. Good. What about number two? What do we have for number two? Chewing, catching. Absorbing. Letter D. D. B. No, D. Sorry. As a Thank you. Dinosaur. D as in dinosaur. All right. Number three. What did you think was number three? Letter C, teacher. C. C. Okay. Good. Number four. Letter A. All right. Good. Letter A. We're going to check all of them in a moment. Oops, number five. Letter A. Also letter A, okay. Yeah. Number six. Letter D. D, okay. Good. Number seven. Letter eight. A. A, yes. Okay, letter A. Good, number eight. Letter C. C. Yeah. Letter C. Good. Number nine. Letter D. D. And the last one. What did you think was the last one? Letter B. B. Yeah. B. Okay. Let's take a look. Amazing answer. Look at that. Number 10, correct. Nine, correct. Eight, correct. Seven, amazing. Six, right on target. Five, also. Four, oof. three, two, and then number one, exactly. Wow. All right. That's amazing. The important is that you can do it. That the important is always use the same techniques, the same strategies. Try to get the best answer you can every time to get the most points, okay? Now we're going to start our topic of listening. Here we have our listening questions. What are the different types of listenings and how to improve our ability to understand? Hi, are you ready for the listening section? Great. In this section, you will find four types of listening questions. It is important for you to understand how these questions are structured and what they ask from you. Finally, you will have time to do some practices and to take another test. Okay, so we can see we have what different types? Important. We have function questions, attitude questions, organization questions, and connecting content questions. We're gonna listen to see what is each of these four different types and what strategies we need to apply in order to answer each one of those, okay? Here, the first one, function. What is it and what do we need to do? Hi, welcome. We're going inside the TOEFL listening section. We'll begin with the function questions. Function questions ask you to identify the particular meaning of a statement in a given context. Because a statement can have different meanings depending on the situation. In other words, the real meaning is different from the surface or literal meaning. For example, if you're in a room with other people and someone says, it's getting hot in here, what they might really be saying is, could someone turn on the AC? You can recognize function questions because they include phrases like, what does the professor mean when he says? Or, why does the student say? Here's a tip for building your listening skills that can also help you with function questions. 
When listening to a passage, ask yourself what the speaker is really doing by saying certain things. The speaker may be doing things like directing, recommending, complaining, agreeing or disagreeing, questioning or confirming. When you know these types of intentions and that they often happen beneath the surface of what is said, they can help you identify the function of what is said more easily. Okay. So, what is the idea of the function questions? Is to make sure that we understand what is the purpose of the speaker. What are they saying and why they're saying it, right? That's the most important part. We're going to be listening to what they say, but not directly the words. What do they want us to understand? Now you may take a look at the sample question. Okay, let's read it together. Who would like to read the beginning, the man and then the woman? Who would like to be the man? Me. Okay, and the woman? Hi, teacher, but could you choose more? Uh, a little bigger, please. No, no, I no, can't because it's not this, possible. Is, this is the maximum. Only I can make it smaller, and this is the biggest. Oh, okay. I can take a picture and put into the WhatsApp if that helps. Maybe like that. Okay. Hang on, let me take a picture, and then that way in the WhatsApp you can put bigger. Okay. Barren los chuchos. Emma is my dog. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Dr. Johnson, would you um, I need your signature on this per permission from so that I can get into chemistry 205 uh, because, because my grade for the prerequisite course was low. Okay, I'll read it. No problem, no problem. I see we have a little problem. Well, Bill, a low grade indicates that you don't understand essential concepts. Are you up to taking the course? I think so. My brother um, kind of tutored me over the summer. We went back over all the material. I think I have a good grasp of I eat now. Okay. So that is the idea. The, the idea is what are they saying and why? That's what we're going to take a look at. So you will hear, well, Bill, a low grade indicates that you don't understand the essential concepts. Are you up to taking the course? What does the professor mean when she says, are you up to taking the course? Okay. Mm -hmm. What is, why does the professor say that? Are you up to taking the course? A, she is refusing to sign the permission form for the man to register for chemistry. B, she is concerned the man doesn't have the background knowledge to do well. C, she doesn't have confidence in the brother's teaching abilities. Or D, she wants the man to go back over the prerequisite course material. So here, this is the, this is the idea of the function question. The idea is mm -hmm. not what is the professor saying. The question is mm -hmm. why? Why is the professor saying this? For us, she is saying it. Are you up to taking the course? She is saying it because letter B. She mm -hmm. is concerned the man doesn't have the background knowledge to do well, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So for example, like in school, many people in school, they want to pass to the next level. I know they say, I, 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 I'm missing one tenth. Me falta una decimal, regálame el punto. Just, it's not about the point. Is indicate, the professor say, this indicate that you don't have the minimum standard to pass the next course. Are you confident that you study that is why the professor asked. That is the idea of those types of questions. Those types of questions are to give the function, the reason for asking those, okay? That is why the professor asked them. It's okay, the idea? Yes. Okay. 
That is the function question, okay? So when the person says, ah, it's so hot, what do they mean? Do they mean they are hot? Do they mean, please open the window? Please turn on the air conditioning. What do they mean? Uh, this is the idea, the function. Why do they say mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, when Kalena, when Kalena says to Luis, Luis, tú no tienes hambre. What is Kalena saying? Mm -hmm. Kalena is saying, uh -huh. I am hungry, but uh, I yeah. want you to eat. I want to go to the break too. So this is the idea for the function questions. It's clear? Okay. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Here, the attitude questions. Now we have to think of the attitude. Hi, welcome to the listening section, especially the attitude questions. Attitude questions ask you to show understanding of the speaker's attitude or their feelings about something. You can recognize attitude questions because they include phrases like, what is the professor's attitude? What does the student think about? What can be inferred? Recognizing the question type. To identify the speaker's attitude, listen for phrases like what I think or it seems to me in the lecture or conversation. The attitude question will then refer to how valid the speaker's argument is or how sure of the facts the speaker is. Remember, when you're answering attitude questions, listen for the tone of the speaker's voice. Here's a listening tip that will help you with attitude questions. As you practice your listening skills, you will start noticing each speaker's style and their tone of voice. Then ask mm -hmm. yourself these questions. Is the speaker's voice calm or emotional, relaxed or nervous, certain or confused, enthusiastic or bored? What does the speaker's tone of voice tell you? Watching comedy television shows is a good way to practice recognizing a speaker's tone of voice. Now you may go on watching a sample question. Okay. For example, here, the man and woman, who would like to read? I will read it. Don't worry then. Okay. I oh, I read it. Okay. I can, I read. I can help you. I read it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. One the man and one the woman. Thank you. Okay. okay. Darn. Okay. Darn. I think I'm catching a cold just when I need to be well to give my presentation. I've been sneezing all morning. Oh, you are not coming down with anything unless you have other symptoms. You're probably just brought in some irritant. Mm. So is the man annoyed or angry? Here is difficult because we have the reading, not the listening, but is when you see the expression, darn, I think I'm catching a cold. The man is not angry. He is annoyed because the tone of the word he is saying is that ah, I don't want to get sick, but I think I'm going to get sick. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one, the woman is, oh, you're not coming down with anything. Unless you have other symptoms, you probably just breathe in some irritant. The woman ah, is not irritated, not angry with the no. man. But the woman doesn't believe the man is not, is doubtful. Doubtful is the woman doesn't believe her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the idea. The idea is when we're listening for these, we need to make sure that we understand what they're talking about with what they're talking about with that tone what we hear and how we hear it okay in this exercise okay. right now there are more types of listening questions but we're going to practice the first one the function questions so right now remember there are four types of listenings but we're going to practice the first one that we listen today function questions so with our partners we're going to go in our listening exercise here, section two, listening, listening practice. And today we want to complete the function questions. We have three questions. I think that with the time that we have here, we can answer it and do it together. So we're not going to make groups. We're going to do it together to make sure that it's okay. We're gonna listen to the conversation, then choose the answer that identifies the speaker means. 
remember the technique. Always, always, before you listen, try to read the question and read the possible answers. That way, when you are listening, it's easier for you to identify the answers. This is always okay. the technique for listening that helps you. Okay? Okay. Okay. Mm. I don't hear anything. Let's try. Sue, you know you missed the deadline, don't you? Yes, I know. But could I get my report in by early next week? Well, I'm not so concerned about deadlines as such. We all have setbacks from time to time. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm more concerned about your getting behind in general. I've seen students get so far behind that they can't catch up. If you can't keep up in this course, you're really wasting my time and your time and money. If that's the case, Sue, you should drop now while you can before it's too late to drop without penalties. Listen again to part of the conversation. Then answer the question. If you can't keep up in this course, you're really wasting my time and your time and money. If that's the case, Sue, you should drop now while you can before it's too late to drop without penalties. What does the professor mean when he says this? If that's the case, Sue, you should drop now while you can before it's too late to drop without penalties. Okay. So, number one, what does the professor mean when he says that? Mm -hmm. One, two. It's letter A. Okay, we got one letter A. Anybody else? Letter C, teacher. Okay, we got letter C. Anybody else? Okay, the next, because that is how it is in the exam. You don't have time to continue analyzing. You have to make the decision in five seconds or less. Okay, <laughs> now that I have all your decisions, your individual and group decisions written on the board, I want to show you this transparency of the, um, each choice has a risk factor. So here are the statistics showing how risky, how much of a gamble each of the alternatives is. So take a moment to compare the risk values with the choices you made. What kind of jumps out at you? Yes, Jason? Well, the individual decisions within each group are well, not always, but they tend to be less risky than the decision the group made. Right. Do you see how, as individuals, most of you were not willing to take the gamble, but as a group, you were? The term for this phenomenon is risky shift. Risky shift. A shift in position from less risky to more risky. If we were to average the risk factor of the group's individual members, it usually, but not always, shows that individuals are more cautious about taking a gamble, while a group decision has a higher risk. So what implications does this have? Think about business and political decisions in particular. Listen again to part of the lecture, then answer the question. So take a moment to compare the risk values with the choices you made kind of jumps out at you. What does the professor mean when she says this? What kind of jumps out at you? Okay, what do you think? Don't take too much time because in the exam, you won't have time to analyze. You got to get used to it. Look letter, at this. A. letter A. Letter A. Okay. Yes, we'll see it and obvious. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay. All right. We got two people that agree. Let's go. I dropped my physics course because I discovered it didn't meet my degree requirements. You wouldn't know anyone in the class who'd like to buy the course book, would you? Not offhand, but if you bought it new and kept the receipt, I'm sure you could get your money back or exchange it for one you do need. Really? I could do that, could I? Well, yeah. 
if it's within a reasonable period of time. Listen again to part of the conversation. Then answer the question. Not offhand, but if you bought it new and kept the receipt, I'm sure you could get your money back or exchange it for one you do need. Really? I could do that, could I? What is the man doing when he says this? Really? I could do that, could I? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is, is, letter, is letter D? D. Yes, I agree with you. Okay, all right. Let's take a look. Again, we're doing pretty good on those. Very nice. Number one, letter C. Correct. Some said letter A or others. It's close, but letter C. Not that he, she is wasting the time, but is concerned. Maybe the student is having difficulty. Number two, jumps out at you is a very common expression that is, is obvious. So when they say, mm -hmm. oh, you're going to see, it's going to jump out at you. It means it's very obvious. Okay. And letter number three, what is the man doing? Uh, he wants to make sure that the woman understands about the understanding of what the woman said. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, what is the most difficult? The most difficult maybe is not the listening. The most difficult is making the decision quickly because you don't have time to, mm, let me think again, the vocabulary, the meaning, the interpretation, the translation, the, no, mm -hmm. you, you need to go quicker, quicker when making the decisions. But is very good. But now we understand the function questions. The function question is the person is not being direct. The function question is what is your interpretation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if Marvin says, ah, oh, I am tired. What does Marvin mean? Teacher, finish the class. I want to go to bed or I am hungry. Mm -hmm. This is the idea. Not not exactly the words, but what is he mm -hmm. trying to communicate? Okay. Okay? Okay. Yes? All right. Don't worry, because tomorrow we're going to go to the second listening question. What was the second listening? Is the second video that we watched, which was okay. about the attitude. Now, yes. this is more difficult. Why is it more difficult? Because it's more about listening for intonation when the person is uh, sarcastic when the person is happy when the person is angry and it's difficult if you don't practice listening because you listen for words it's okay but you need to listen for meaning what do they say okay okay so if, if i say for example uh alex how are you and alex says i'm fine he's <laughs> different than i'm fine i'm <laughs> fine is oh i had a bad day and i don't want to talk about it but the other is <laughs> everything is okay. And I that, told you, I'm fine. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> if, for example, my wife, uh huh, I bebos, but I bebos, I bebos. No, is mi decision. No, is I bebos. I said, look at your testing. This is uh, uh, the attitude question. What, I know, what I happened, know, Selena? Uh huh, I know nothing. Elena's husband, nothing. too. Elena's husband, too. Uh huh. I remember that. Salí si querés. Salí si querés. Ah, and then, hmm, it's not the same. It's not the same. This, <laughs> this is the idea. This is the yeah. idea for tomorrow. So tomorrow, yeah. we're going to listen for the attitude questions. We're going to practice. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Thank you so much for being back. And I see you tomorrow. Okay? Okay, see you. Thank see you, guys. Okay. Okay. See, see you. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Talena, did you have a question? Okay.